For practice at exercise 3.5 print grid, we are asked to write a method named print grid. So we'll have a public static void print grid and it accepts two integers as parameters rows and columns or rows and calls the output is a comma separated grid of numbers where the first parameter represents the number of rows of the grid and the second parameter represents the number of columns so in our method we are going to need multiple for loops one for our rows and one for our columns first we need our rows that is the first thing we look at going down so we'll have a for loop and in here we'll have row is equal to rows or it's equal to one because we start all of our rows at one and then we are going to run this as long as row is less than rows that way it'll only run that set amount of times that it tells us to and in fact this actually needs to be row is less than or equal to rows and we will have row plus plus in here now we need to look at our columns so we'll have for a for loop and we will have an int columns or an int column and that's going to also be equal to one and this is going to run as long as less than calls usually um, if there if there were no commas we would just set it to less than or equal to but since there are commas on every single one except for the last one we need to have a special case for this last part here and then we're just going to do column plus plus in here we'll have our system.out.print statement where we print out these things and we notice that we print starting each row off with the actual row itself so one two three however we have to add a certain number um, we're going to add whatever the row is so if we look at this first one we have one plus three is four four plus three is seven for this next one we have one plus five is six six plus five is eleven so in here we need to create a variable that's going to um, change back to the minimum value every single time we go to a new row so we have to declare it outside of our column for loop we'll have it right before It'll be an int, and we'll call it temp, and we'll initialize it to rows. That way, when we print this out first, we can print out temp, and it's going to print out the first value in the row. We can have a plus, and then a comma, and space. Inside of our for loop, because it's going to keep printing out plus four, we can have temp plus equals, and we will set that equal to rows, because the amount added is dependent on the rows after this we um, we need to do our special case so basically this for loop is going to run for all of these values like this and then it's going to stop it's going to include the space too actually so it's going to run up until here and then it's going to stop we need to print out this last value 16 so what we can do right here below our for loop is have a print statement where we print that out we can do system dot dot print and in here we are just going to print temp the last temp and then we need a new line so we'll do system dot out dot print line like this and if we submit it um, we have an issue we need to initialize row so that needs to be an int and when we run it we have not passed the test seems that we have an error somewhere so we can look back at the code and the issue is that I set temp equal to rows right here um, this should not be initialized to rows because rows is a set number and needs to start at one. So this is actually just going to be row. 
and this one's fine because this is the amount added depends on the row however the value at which it starts at is always going to be one or two or three depending on this value right here so if we submit it again we have passed the test and this is the code that will produce the output 